the uh, Brian, Lara and Jablet here, home ground here in Santa Cruz. Obviously, fellas, this is something that we would love. We'd love this as a, uh, as a playing, not a training, but a playing facility. Something close to home, something close to San Juan where we can get hopefully 1,500 to 3,000 people come and watch us for home games as, as we are the premier side in the Pro League. Um, this is something we'd love to achieve and we're working hard at it behind the scenes. Our board of directors are in touch with the Minister of Sport and we're trying to secure this facility for home games and bring football really back into the community which I think not just for Jablatier, that is for every Pro League team. Um, as an instance, I spent January this year up in um, Antigua, where all of their teams have got um, community-based pitches, and they're getting three to 5,000 people watching amateur football. Now, that's a big indication of what we could do here in Trinidad, where we're bringing the, fa the families out locally based families coming and getting involved in the club, getting them involved in the teams and, and really making a go of it because football really has been very poor over the last 10 years, even of professional football, because we've not got that interaction with our communities. Um, hopefully facilities like this and, and elsewhere around the country will help us bridge that gap. Um, as far as my team's performance in the Lucas Aid Championship was concerned, I thought, and I'm sure most of the people that came to that game that evening would recognise, I thought we were much the better side. And I've got to hold my hands up, I think um, North East Stars done a terrific job. They played well and I'm, I'm uh, uh, pleased that they've got a cup under their belt. Obviously I hope that that was going to be us, but um, congratulations to them. But I think for the football enthusiasts, they would have recognised there was really one team on the night. And, and But for missed chances um, and also a very sloppy goal, uh, Sheldon Bato caught sleeping at the back stick. Um, I think other than that, we, we would have won the game, even if it had gone to penalties. But I think the team in itself, we showed a great deal of character. The club's been under a lot of pressure over the recent months. Players themselves have been under pressure, living, not, not having uh, salaries coming in on time, sometimes not at all. It's been very difficult for these young men and I think they, they performed brilliantly on the night. We dominated all the games leading up to the, game, to the final and we dominated the final and, and really again, down to our lack of finishing, our poor skills in front of goals, something that we've worked tirelessly on on the training ground but we've still not transferred that from the training ground onto the in, into games I think we would have been way in front of the North East Stars on that evening and we would have been better off in the, in the league than we are at the moment having said that we've, uh, we've got a whole half of the season to, to go up so we're very optimistic because we've got the best squad in the league we've got some great very talented young men uh, horses for courses we've got good defenders in there we're working tirelessly on the front players, we need to score more goals, we recognise that. So that's something that we are working on in training. We will get better. Um, and I'm reasonably pleased, I mean I can't argue, the players have put so much into training. They've been really committed to the club, they've been professional. And with all the problems that we've had surrounding the club, they've handled themselves admirably. Now I, I can't argue with that, that's been fantastic and, and I'm delighted for them and I'm just hoping that the club and the club's directors can do, do their bit and make sure the, the, the future is secure for Jablatia Football Club and for the players that we've got. We very much, I think, assembled a top squad. Um, we're a very young squad. We're not like the Joe Publix, Mapeos, um, North East Stars that have got senior players all over the shop. We've limited our squad to really three or four senior players. The rest of them are kids, good young players coming through. Players that want to do better for themselves, get into the national team and then get outside, get beyond. That's what we're aiming to do. Provide them with that opportunity um, and develop from within. I think, um, as I've stated in earlier uh, um, press releases, you look at the top sides in this country today and they're all littered with ex-Jablatier players and, and Joe Public with Trent Noel, Batiste, 
um, Nico Lewis type players in their first team uh, seven starting players at um, Mapo uh, where they've really come and tried to take all of our good young talent but we're still hanging on in there we've got better players I think on our staff and they're learning they're getting better all of the time and I think really it's down to the development and coaching we will be there about again at the end this year it's a long long half a season left um, defence force brilliant Ross Russell done an excellent job for half a season still hasn't won anything by the way but they will be hard to catch that second spot though is up for grabs for four or five teams and we intend to be right there well after the um, after we got beat I was extremely disappointed and I needed a week off uh, I don't take losing particularly in cup finals very well and particularly in the way we lost we dominate the game we have all the chances we miss our chances and then give away a sloppy goal that's not Terry Fennick Jablatier teams we are granite at the back and I bring his name up again Sheldon Bato let the team down badly because his concentration level late in the game was poor that's something that we need to work on we're actually we've, we've now had a week's uh, physical training we are, my players haven't seen a football for, for a week we are working their balls off at the moment and they're getting better stronger fitter and coming into next week the balls will come out our organisation will kick in we'll start working on, on, on different aspects of the game different principles of play and we will be cracking on when it comes to the year teams in that first game in the first citizens the league's the most important uh, title of course but all of these cups are, we, we want silverware we you know at Jablatier we are used to winning cups uh, every year we've won something other than last year when I wasn't at the club but um, that will continue we've got too many good players here and we're too well organized not to be thereabouts we should have won the Lucas Ed. That didn't happen. So what? On to the next. We will be on top form coming into the first citizens.